let's get to it. Under the Chevron savings plan, how is it determined how much I can contribute in pre-tax and Roth contributions? Yeah, so this is consistent through all plans. This is an IRS rule. And I'll actually go back to that slide so we can uh, look at it all together again. Uh, this is actually something that typically increases per year, but I'm going to pull up this slide and hopefully this is the relevant to the question that was asked. So if you're under 50, you can only contribute 61,000 total. Of that, 20,500 is tax advantaged. Now that could be all pre-tax, that could be all Roth 401k contributions, or it could be a combination of the two. But if you're under 50, you can't go over 20,500 from a tax advantage perspective. Uh, if you're over 50, you get an extra $6,500 of tax advantage contributions, as well as total contributions. And you get to choose how much of that goes into pre-tax versus Roth, but it cannot go over these tax advantage limits. So 27,000 if you're over 50, and up to 67,500, including your company match. This is where that tax strategy I mentioned earlier, where you could overfund your plan and subsequently convert that after-tax contribution to a Roth IRA. Great strategy, especially toward the end of your career, if you get the kids out of the house or your expenses drop right before your retirement. This is a great way to overfund a Roth and get as much money as possible into the Roth environment prior to leaving the company because the window closes as soon as you leave Chevron and don't have a 401k you can contribute to. Hopefully that was uh, specific to the question that was asked. Yeah, and I'd, I'd like to add too, I, I'm not sure everyone knows unless they have friends who work at different companies, but Chevron is one of the few plans that allow you to do this. We do work with some plans that don't allow you to overfund your 401k in an effort to take advantage of a way to get more money into a tax-free environment without any contribution uh, requirements or limits. And so uh, as an example, if you have a spouse that potentially doesn't have a plan that operates like that, and you're finding that you're not spending as much money as that is coming into the household, and you're looking for advantageous ways to save that money, this might be a very useful tool for you to consider. And so we'd be glad Absolutely. to help you with uh, understanding how that works uh, further if you're open to that. Thank you.